Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another exciting edition of Transformers Review. Uh, I am actually really excited to bring you guys uh, this act, this review um, because I don't know a lot about this character but I do know a lot about this mold and just looking at it right here now it looks pretty cool. This is part number four in the Grand Galvatron review and uh, as always just want to mention that uh, I'm breaking this down for individual uh, components so that we didn't have one big long video because then it would take forever to upload and that's a nightmare. But anyway, onto this figure. Uh, again, this, if I've not already mentioned, is Wondering Roller. And uh, he does come with all the same armaments that this mold uh, has in its previous incarnations. And I gotta say, I'm digging it. I am loving this overall paint scheme. Reminds you of the uh, Combiner Wars Megatron that we got. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, it rolls really nice. I mean, that's pretty sweet looking. And then you got just that little bit of, you got that little bit of touch of detail inside the wheels, which is pretty sweet. I'm, I'm digging it. Um, and just, uh, I love the overall aesthetic of this vehicle. It's just really cool. I mean, it just looks like it just, boom, run into some barriers and stuff. And then you start adding the mean armaments that, that this, you know, has and all that good stuff. So, um... I, I, shoot, I like it. I'm not gonna lie. This is, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, this is like the lamest one in the figure set. Well, I'm gonna disagree. It's, it's up there with the rest of them. Um, and one thing I did notice was, is that's kind of cool to have the Autobot symbol in green. Now, another thing I did notice was, is as opposed to Tarantulas, well, I can't say that, as opposed to Rook, who this is re repainted. I don't know whether those are sirens or what, but supposedly this character is the one that Optimus named his little recon unit after, is this guy. But even without that, I mean, you've got the, the light paint, uh, you know, and just a little bit of detail all over this thing, which is really kind of cool when you think about it. So, overall, I love the vehicle mode. It looks really kind of cool. Let's go ahead and compare him with, uh, you know, Rook. Rook, again... I think it's just the white and the blue and the, the kind of boring that, that kills Rook, honestly. Um, but I mean, even if you were to strip the weapons away and look at it, you know, fairly, um, which stands out more to you? I mean, let me take a look at these guys. I mean, you know, so um, they each got their strengths and weaknesses, but I mean, overall, I think I think we know who wins this round. So it's obviously roller. So that's just really cool. I think I think uh, with with everything in this Gal Grand Galvatron set, it is really just it, it's the paint that makes them awesome. Um, because molds like this, we looked at it, we're like, yeah, that's kind of cool, and I, I was like, yeah, I, I kind of like it. You know, it's not my absolute favorite. I mean, heck, I like Silverbolt more than I do Rook. But this makes me reconsider my position on this mold. So, anyway, but enough about uh, Roller and his vehicle mode. Uh, we will go ahead and go on to robot mode and see how this guy looks. And here is this really cool looking dude in his robot mode. And I have to say, I am actually really kind of surprised at how the oranges and greens are working together. Um, but I guess it helps to have accents of black and silver too. But I mean, just just kind of look over all this this detail that that he has going on here. Um, now, one thing I do I I did want to mention about this mold is even when it was Rook, I've never cared for this head. It looks like an old school retro football helmet, I mean, or just it just looks like trash is going across the front piece of his face. That's just stupid to me. But one cool feature is, as opposed to Rook, where they just had the the simple. Um, uh, molding there, they differentiated his fist from the rest of his cannon, which by itself is pretty imposing when you think about it. I mean, that's pretty cool right there. And he has it on, on the other hand too. So overall, I mean, he, it, he's got a real cool look to him. One thing that this mold has is is he his feet can stand straight up, but there's pivoting in, in his feet. So he can actually stand with a wider stance and actually, you know, do what he needs to, which is cool. And I, I don't know if they illustrate that as being used as a cannon. I think they would. I think it might be done in his artwork. I don't have it on hand. Um, but just on the off chance, they did include him with, and this is probably one of my favorite colors that they molded this thing in, is this bright orange that they got going on here, 
which um, you could plug it in there, but then that wouldn't look very, you know, whatever. So you can plug it in whatever way you want to. I personally think it looks best like this. And now he's got like this kind of like tuning fork of death that he can, you know, mow you down with if, if he chose to do so. But the, and that's the one thing is, is, yes, his hands are molded just like this. So they can't really, he he's not really holding the weapons in his hand. Um, but, with that being said, if you take his other weapon, which forms, a, you know, his, his combiner mode fist, boom. This dude now has a Hulk fist, essentially. A transformer sized Hulk fist. Which, boo, you know, I mean, that would be pretty, that's, that's really kind of cool when you think about it. I mean, some of you are like, oh, that's dumb. But I mean, come on, now he has another weapon hand that he can just, you know, shoot missiles with and then knock into next week if he chose to do so. Um, you know, but I mean, overall, uh, aside from the head, uh, I think the paint is what is so striking and I think that's kind of what makes me really like it. Uh, plus, I just like the fact that he's a bruiser. Now, I understand that they chose this mold, but this is not what he looks like in his uh, fiction adaptation. He's got a different look. So, I can't really gauge how this is for the character that I don't even know anything about. Um, the only thing I can really wonder about is why is he combining with Decepticons. But, that's not why we're here. Here he is with Rook. Okay. Let's just say this, and I'm going to say this now that we're in video number four. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wager the last two I'm going to review. This is like David, well, let's, let's redo that. It's like David versus Goliath. Goliath's never going to win, okay? Yeah. So overall, I think he's a really excellent character. Uh, I, I honestly think his vehicle mode is the stronger. Um, but don't get me wrong, the, 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 the weird coloring and stuff, uh, it's, it's passable for robot. It's not the greatest. Uh, I definitely, but like I said, I think his vehicle mode is the stronger of the two. So, but overall, I mean, it's not a bad, bad figure. So, anyway, this has been the review of Transformers Wondering Roller. Stay tuned for another video in the Galvatron series, or you can check out one of my other videos. So, anyway, please feel free to do so, and we will talk to you guys later.